In this lecture, we are going to learn how to deploy a smart contract to our local blockchain. In other words, we're going to migrate our Truffle project to a development network. Let's go ahead and add some configuration for our development network into our Truffle configuration file. So this is the file truffleconfig.js. At the top of the file here, I'm going to create some variables to reference my network ID. We can use process.env to reference environment variables that were set in the package configuration file package.json. So this is different from accessing an environment variable that is like our mnemonic, which we can set in the terminal. This is instead just accessing process environment variables, which are inside of package.json. So here we can see them. We had in package.json network ID, gas limit, and gas price. So those are the ones that we're referencing right now with process.env.npm package config ganache network ID. Then we want gas price with process.env.npm package config ganache, and this time we want gas price. Finally, we have our gas limit with process.env.npm package config ganache gas limit. So these are all different properties for the configuration of our ganache local blockchain. We have network ID, gas price, and gas limit. Then inside of our module exports, we have networks where we can define networks for our Truffle project. By default, Truffle uses the development network and we can add other networks as well. Here, let's uncomment the development network so that way we can actually set our own properties for the development network. First, we have our host and our port. These are the defaults by Ganache. We have 127001 and then port 8545. Inside of our terminal, we can actually see that's exactly where our Ganache is running. So that is the correct host and port. For the network ID, we can use any network with a star or we can pass in our specific network ID, which is the variable that we created up there. Next, we can also set the gas as the gas limit variable and the gas price as our gas price variable. So these are just extra configurations that we are setting for our local blockchain. So we can exclude these, they're not required, but then we'll see that we get different gas usage numbers all the time, whereas this makes it more consistent. Now, to run our project quickly, we are going to add more scripts into package.json just to make it easier for us to run the project in the terminal. So here under scripts, after Ganache, I am going to add a start script, which will use the command npm start. We're going to use the concurrently library and then we're going to add here npm run ganache and just make sure you use a backslash here. So concurrently allows us to run different tools at the same time. So here we are using the backslash just to escape out of the double quotation marks. Make sure that this is just treated as one command and then we want another command npm run migrate. So this will allow us to run Ganache at the same time as we migrate our contracts. So we can do that concurrently. This is going to be a faster way to run your project, migrate your contracts on a blockchain at the same time. I'm also going to build a migrate shorthand We'll use rmrf build. So this is going to remove the build folder. So we can actually reset and recompile our contracts if we ever want to use migrate. We're going to append truffle migrate reset, which is going to re-migrate the contracts from scratch. And it's going to force 
the resetting of the migration because sometimes if you just do truffle migrate it won't necessarily migrate if you already have an existing migration so if you add the reset flag it just forces the migration so then we're going to after we migrate also compile with the flag compile all we're going to add our network and we are going to run in development mode so these are two extra shorthands for running our project. Now let's go into the terminal and actually see these in use. So in my terminal, I'm going to kill my blockchain and I'm going to first install the concurrently package. So that way we can actually use it inside of our scripts. Otherwise we can't use a tool that we don't have installed. Then I can call npm run start, which is my shorthand that I built. And we can take a look from the top at what is going on. So we have npm run start. We have our project name and then start. That's the shorthand that's running. The long version of that is concurrently npm run ganache, npm run migrate. So first we're going to call migrate and then we are going to here have remove our f build truffle migrate reset compile all at the network in development. So we have npm run ganache, but then we have npm run migrate. And you'll remember if you go into your code editor, npm ganache is its own shorthand. npm migrate is its own shorthand. And you can just add run there as well. So here we have npm run start to run this. Then we have npm run ganache and npm run migrate. So we have these two long commands first to start our local blockchain and set it to use our configuration then to migrate our smart contracts to that blockchain and because we have concurrently it means we can do those at the same time instead of having to open two different windows or doing them one after the other so first we're running ganache which we saw previously this just opens our blockchain we have our 10 available accounts with 100 ether each we have our private keys for each account. We have our mnemonic, which is consistent because we saved it as an environment variable. Now, if this is your real mnemonic, you want to make sure that you keep this hidden as an environment variable that you don't show anyone. If this is the actual mnemonic to your wallet. Then we have our gas price, our gas limit, which we set. We're listening on the port. And then we have something new that says compiling your contracts. So this is actually compiling our migration solidity contract. It's creating a new JSON file for it, and it's compiling using our solidity compiler version at our commit hash. Then we have ETH block number, net version, ETH accounts, and ETH get block by number. Then we have starting migrations. So this is actually using the command truffle migrate. We are migrating our contract onto a blockchain. The network name is development, the network ID is 3777, this is what we set, and our block gas limit, 700,000, these are all properties that we set. Then we're running our initial migration file, we have here some properties and we're deploying our migrations contract, so we have actually deployed our solidity contract. We have the transaction hash to uniquely identify this transaction, this deployment. We have the contract created, and that is a slightly different address. So we have the transaction address, then we have the contract address. We have the gas amount, the block number, and the block time. Then different properties, our blocks, our contract address. Again, this is going to be important. Often you'll have to use the contract address. We have the account address as well, and the balance of that account. So we started with 100 Ethereum and then it went down because we had to use a bit of gas to actually do the migration. Then we have gas used and gas price, 300 GUI, which is a fraction of an Ethereum. Then we're saving the migration to our chain. So we've actually put a block onto our local chain of blocks, the blockchain. We have our transaction address, our gas usage, block time again, the total cost, 0.07 Ethereum. This was all test Ethereum. This was not real Ethereum because we are just running on development 
blockchain on a local one. If we were running on a mainnet, then we would have to use real Ethereum. Our total deployments was one because we deployed one smart contract with the migrate key word. Then we had the final cost. And finally, npm run migrate exited, so we finished. Awesome. So Truffle compiled, then ran the migration steps using the development network. The development, ne the development network was our Ganache client. And that is an example of how you can migrate a contract, meaning you're deploying it to a blockchain, in this case, a local blockchain. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, machine learning, and much more. We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.